How's it going? This is Kyle. Welcome back to another episode of Zenith. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. So, I did a bit of an adjustment with the um, dust sorter. So, I added more chests to experiment how the additional storage goes. And it's going to go down a bit further so that there will be more space for the dust that's been made. Now, what I need to worry about is getting this programmable Android to work. And the my other challenge though is, did I get the... Yeah, here it is. This is what I lo I'm looking for. What this does is the Android will place the items here, but we have to make a script on that. So in order to finalize this automatic dust sorter, this is the missing piece. We got a block of coal here for fuel. Next, we need some redstone work, and I think we need another input node. That's one node short. Yeah, I think I'm one input node short. So before we do that, though, let's make sure that we have enough for. Oh, we have ma enough materials for the uh, connection connector. Uh, we need to make a chest first though. We need to make one chest for the storage of the cobblestone. And I think this is this is credits to Alex by the way who made this possible. So props to him. We'll need one hopper like that. And then the dispenser will be placed somewhere here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So to make things automatic, we definitely need that Android. It's not going to be the most efficient one. We'll need a bit more than just one. But since I don't have a big storage yet, we're going to keep it at one uh, Android for the meantime. And I'm trying to make sure that my inventory isn't full. Magnesium goes back there. Let's add more cobblestone to the mix so that we can get the more dust going. And just make sure that you have to make sure that round robin mode is on so that it would distribute evenly. Yep. Soon we're going to upgrade this into bigger and better uh, machines and they'll go faster. We need one input node though. So let's see if we got a um, let's see if we got a what do you call this? If we got uh, I'm trying to get, gather my thoughts here. Let's see if we got some brass ingots for the Input node. Let me just confirm with slime block and see if that's the one. Oh, I'm sorry. It's billion ingots. So for billion ingots, we need about... For billion ingots, we need silver, copper. And silver ingots. Silver dust, copper, and silver ingots. We'll get some copper. I believe it should be right here. Need one of that. Actually, we need two of these. And where is where art thou silver? I believe it's over here. That's aluminum. Here it is. We need for dust. Do I have a smelter here? I do not, which means I am a bit of a pickle right now. I need to make a smeltery as well. Hmm. Well, it's going to be somewhat easy, but the annoying part is we need to get nether rack. So let me see. Get back to the other base and set the smeltery and the redstone mechanics, and I'll get back to you in a sec. All right. I got a smeltery, auto smeltery working. 
So I put this torch here as a reference to make sure that it's switched off, which means this thing is switched on here. But when I turn it on, that means this melter is at work. So let's just finish by inserting all of these put and steal this fuel. Wait. If we turn this on. Okay, so if, if it's set to on, this thing will not accept it. The <clears throat> put and steal. Very interesting. So it's gonna be sorry for a bit of a small hassle here, but it takes a while. But this should be working. A bit annoying when changing from backpack to flint and steel uh, to chest. Okay, that should be it. So it should be working. Yep, it's on. Wait, is it? Yep, it's on. Thought I got reversed yet again. So we should get some. Actually, no, we need to smelt that. So the dust. A bit annoying, let's just copy that. You can see that the smoke is coming up, it's just actually coming from the dispenser. Oh, no, it's the flame actually. So it's at over. Did I get it right? Billion ingot. Next, we need a hopper and I believe we need a connector. Hopefully, we still have connectors in the chest to complete the input. And we do this by placing it in the enhanced crafting table. Should be done. Okay, got it. And then we insert that here. What's this doing in there? And I believe just blacklist. No, we will not use it just yet. Next, we put the dispenser here. Looks like we'll have to smudge some glass too to see the thing going. Yep. So give me a sec. We'll get some sand here. Courtesy of you know who. Messing up the yeah, totally messed up the totally messed up the place here with those sand walls. Should have reversed it, by this. but I guess it, it was not meant to be. Okay, we're waiting for the glass. Let's get this android set up. So here's what we need to do. We need as well a bucket of water and a bucket of lava for the generator. Lava goes here. Bucket of water goes here. For the source lava goes there so that it will not turn into obsidian. We need to put the we need to put the lava bucket in a disc. We need to place the lava at the distance. Okay, and I have to make sure. Let's see if I still got some iron. Yep, I do. I'm gonna get the bucket of water. Sorry for my faint voice, it's a bit hoarse tonight. Huh, one hit. Okay. Get the water here. This looks like a ghost town now, in my opinion. I'll show you a bit of the place later. If you're very. if. It's very interesting if I do have the time, but we will finish this first. We will make sure that this is automatic or automatic. Put the water bucket here and then the lava. Uh, hold on. Lava bucket should be placed not there, but here. 
Okay. Next. The fun part is using the Android. That's the best part. We need to script it as well. Give me a sec. Oh, but wait. Okay. We'll worry about that later. Okay. So what we need to do, we load this. We will make the script to do its work. And it, okay. And when you run the script, it's gonna cycle. So what we need to do, so it's facing here. So what's gonna do happen first is we need to allow some allowance. So what's it doing? Turn left. Kick downwards. Push inventory contents to face interface. And then wait 2.5 seconds. And that's it. It's just going to keep repeating. Let's see. Let's load that up. Okay. Yep, there it goes. And it's not going to do it because there's no interface there. But when it comes back here, it's going to get all the inner, it's going to get everything and place it over here. Okay. So we got that working. So we'll have to keep watch of this. And then, oh well, the lag is not, comes back all of a sudden. Next, we got to seal this up. That's the problem. Too many redstone clocks can cause a lot of lag. But we need it for the sake of dispensed items. We can put it there. Like that. That should be convincing enough. We'll just put on that just in case. Uh -huh. Fair enough, fair enough. And then we make another redstone clock here. A redstone fast tick to be specific. Put one there. There. Put one here. Get another lever ready. And we will place it up there. And of course, we forgot to put the extra redstone, which we will definitely put. And there it goes. And then we put a lever here to stop it. Okay, swell. Seems to be late in getting that. Next, we blacklist this and this. Oh, and don't forget, we do it round robin. And it should be able to go here. Yep, there it is. But we want it round robin. Yep, there it goes. Okay. Very good. We got our dust automatic dust sorter complete. Not a very fast one, but it's doing its work. Now here's another problem. I need to because once this thing fills up, it will back up again. So what I need to do is to find a way to get rid of that. But you know what? It's fine for now. I'll have to watch it once in a while as well. This is going to be a huge problem in the, in, the, in the long run. But we got our sorter working. So we should be receiving... Yep, there it is. We are receiving... I'm just going to make sure that this is in round robin. Yep. So we should be able to receive very slow, but we got the dust running. So this is, there's a lot of possibilities. So getting the dust right, we're going to get, uh, yeah, there's a lot of potential and possibilities here. It's going to be a slow one for the meantime, but we're getting the work done. You won't see it 
at this point at the short term but you can see that there's like aluminum coming up yep. oh there it is 39 mostly aluminum we got tin got some zinc the rare of the white uh, dust is silver we got gold copper we got lead and iron one of the rare ones but this is a victory for us once again I used to make I also had an old dust sorter before but man it really was a bit annoying we actually get a lot of copper dust here we can smelt them to ingots just to prepare so here's the plan of my next phase so as I bring down this by maybe three or four more chests we're gonna go down the staircase like that or out way out there I'm gonna make a hallway down here to connect it to here so that you'll be able to collect dust and half of it actually hmm, half of it yeah okay so half of it will go to channel 5 round robin in another place where we're gonna use where we're gonna smelt them into ingots via I believe it's a electric ingot factory yep it's gonna take a lot of copper and heating coils and stuff like that We'll need a lot of flint. We'll need a lot of sulfate as well. But we will need nine of these to to put it in a row somewhere there, somewhere here, maybe here at the back. And then once it's done, it's gonna enter another chest. And we're not gonna use hoppers this time. We're gonna use cargo nodes. It's gonna accept. A specific item so we need an advanced output note which will be probably done in a future episode this one is what we need but we'll need more cargo motors which require hardened glass to be with that and we need reinforced state which requires reinforced alloy ingot and this really takes a ton so we will start slow we're gonna make we will slowly make our reinforced alloy ingots but we also need coal as well we need automatic coal makers, uh, our automatic carbon, which won't be so bad since there's a shop that sells a block of coal, a stack, a stack of a block of coal. So we're doing well. We're doing well. So we're about to, looks like I have almost reached 20 minutes. So we'll take a break from the slime fun and let's, let me show you a tour of well, we used to be called Yog Base or Yog's Cast, but now it's we, and then the guild changed to a few good men, but now changed to Gang, so we don't have a name yet. I haven't seen our leader in a while. But you can see here, let me show you via roller coaster. Unfortunately, there's sand blocks. Hmm. That's a problem. That is a huge problem. Let me see if we can go this way. See if we can uh, go take the roller coaster this way. Nope, there's a huge sand block blocking the way, so we're not gonna go by coaster. Will it hit us? Um, very unfortunate. Okay, we'll just take a walk then. So, as you can see, there had been lots of activity. Uh, this is supposed to be a ramp going down. Too bad you won't be able to see that. And, oh, hello. I have not seen this before. Someone has been messing around with redstone. Oh, I have never seen this before. I wonder who made this. Maybe it's one of our Emerald members. But this looks cool. Although it looks unfinished, but cool. I really want to know what this is. Whoever built this, who knows, in the Facebook group comment. I'm really curious what this thing is. It's like a light. 
maybe like a beam, like an elevator. Well, there should be an elevator in there somewhere. I think it's over here. Oh, I really want to know how this works. Well, not like this. <laughs> Whoops, I think I trapped myself in here. Give me one sec. Well, I kind of just teleported back here to my ho set home. And I'm not going to go back there. But that looks a like a cool build. I, w I really wonder who built that. Must have dedicated a lot of time and effort. And a lot of land, because the redstone kept mo Redstone is constant. I have a feeling that was that's probably one of the causes for redstone spikes and lag spikes. So here, let's take let's instead take a look over here. I wonder who built that house. I think I know who did it, who built it. But I'm too lazy to ask. But look at how this place is gone. If not for those sandballs, it would look like a city. Well, not a city, but like a community hub for the guild members. There's a house there. There's a cave over there. There must be some nether themed stuff over there. But, yeah. Looks like there's a lot of stuff. Uh oh. Oh, I almost. Did I die? Nope. Okay. I should really be very careful in, ro in roaming around. But I think that's it for today. Not much to. I'll see what plans I can do. In the next episode, maybe we can continue the tour around the, the, the guild place, or gang place, whatever the plugin is called now. Is it gang? Get invalid command use. Yeah, it's a gang help. Somewhat of a gang. I wonder why they changed the plugin. It's a gang instead of guild. But this, is, this place actually is bigger than the thought. But I'm going to build something big there continue the build despite me being alone here as if this was a ghost town i was thinking of a theme that was like a post-apocalyptic but that's too much you, who would have known that sandballs would be coming from the sky you know sandballs and stuff like that thanks for watching everyone i and to my zenith members cheers to you for making a lot of good builds in the server Hopefully this still service to lives on. Not much people now because of class. But I hope I can still keep this server. Or I hope I can still do what I can do here before the server closes. If, if there is such announcement. Take care and have a good day. Have a good night. Ciao.